catchphrase with Andrew O'Connor. Family catchphrase. Now, I want to get serious. I want to appeal to you now um, for people who suffer from gameaholism, gameaholics. These are people who are addicted to game shows. Um, they watch too many and it starts to affect their life. Uh, they come home and they go, Hi, let's find out what's for dinner! <laughs> let's open the oven door! Wow, it's frozen pizza! <laughs> Now, if you know anyone or are yourself a gameaholic, then please write to Game Show Anonymous. What happens if you feel like watching the game show, you ring them up and they send around Jim Bowen to come and talk to you. <laughs> please welcome our contestants. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Tell me about Hello. Leanne, Jan. This is my daughter Leanne. She's 14, um, loves sport at school. Into take that like every other 14 year old. What is it about? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Well, I tell you. Yeah. Well, I'm not into them. Oh, you're not? Or well, not that I'm admitting. <laughs> she spends most of the time, her time in her room, comes out for meals. You know why? My she got to take that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, she's quite creative, always has been very creative. Um, when she was about four years old, I decorated her bedroom and painted the walls white and the beams black. And she got up before me the next morning and painted the walls black and the beams white because she preferred it that way. And she's been like that ever since, really. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? Do you know, I'm not her. <laughs> uh, she paints. So tell me about your mum, then. Um, this is my mum, Jan. She's a Coca-Cola rep. Um, she enjoys step aerobics in her spare time and in also enjoys um, decorating our house but has recently got a doll's house which hopefully she'll be decorating that and not our house. <laughs> <laughs> not what, is she a rubbish decorator? <laughs> oh, she's great. She's great? She's great. great. Was that irony? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, the show, Jan and Leanne. Thanks. You don't get a lot of irony on game shows these days, do you? No. Hi, Doreen. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Tell me about Danny, then. Well, Danny's my grandson. He's 14. He's very keen on amateur dramatics. He's in the ATC, the Air Training Corps. Mm -hmm. And he's very keen on Michelle Pfeiffer, if I've pronounced it correctly. What is it about Michelle Pfeiffer? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Same thing as take that. Yeah. No. No? No. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just a chat. It's not an interrogation. <laughs> what else? And he also collects bottles. Why? Because they remind you of Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> no, why then? I don't know, it's just something to collect. Oh, right. Well, that's... <laughs> You've got to try and get out more, Danny, all right? A little tip for you there. Tell me about Doreen. This is my grandmother, Doreen. She's 59. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Right. At um, least she may be 59, but at least she doesn't collect bottles. <laughs> she's um, very keen on game shows. So who's like your favourite game show host? Well, you are, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to win, Doreen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our contestants. <laughs> if you play really, really well, you might win this. An exciting CD32 games console and a hot air balloon ride. Very exciting, very exciting. Now, you know what happens. We show you catchphrases and you guess them. Even an idiot could play, which is normally quite good with our contestants, to be honest. So, first of all, we've got to find out how much each of the catchphrases is worth. So, Jan and Leanne, you won the toss. Hit the number chase button for me, please. Get a nice high score. Fifteen. Well, that'll make it exciting, then. <laughs> and no mistake. And don't forget, you can't buzz in until you hear this noise. And if you hear this noise... You've got to retune your telly. <laughs> Here's the first catchphrase. Wait for the bell. <laughs> Jan and Leanne got there first. Mountain out of a molehill. He's correct. <laughs> now, you see, you can tell that Doreen, right, watches a lot of game shows, because they got it right and she started clapping straight away, you see? <laughs> because most contestants will clap at nothing. Have you, been, have, you, have you been on a game show before? Have you been on one before, Doreen? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, don't tell me which ones. Crosswits. 
Tom, my dad. Yeah. No, he's not my dad. He's, I want to point <laughs> out now, Tom O'Connor is not my dad. He's my mother. <laughs> All right, turn it down. You get to go the first bonus. The bonus is nine squares, behind of which is our bonus catchphrase worth 50. So take away a square. <laughs> Bottom right. Be no help whatsoever. Take it away. Five seconds. What is it? Um, doing the dusting. No. Here's another catchphrase. Wait for the bell. Sitting. How sitting is right. Yeah. Doreen, did you win on crosswords? Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, get a go at the bonus now, Joanne Leanne, as you go. It's worth 45 now. Take away a square. <laughs> this might do it. Take it away, please. Five seconds. What is it? Um, working up a sweat? No, it's not. But I like how you lean forward before you answer. <laughs> Like it makes a difference. Here's a catchphrase. It's Mr. I like Mr. Chips. Dorian and Danny. On the make. Absolutely right. <laughs> in CrossFit, did you come from behind or were you in the lead all the way? What, what I came from behind. Did you? Oh, well, you better look out. <laughs> How many bottles you got, Danny? 30. It's quite a collection. <laughs> Is it all like the same bottle? No. Have you got like 30 milk bottles? All, all sort of. <laughs> no, it could have. Or are they all different? They're all different. I just thought we should talk to you because you haven't got the catchphrase yet. <laughs> oh, just get your face on screen. You get got the bonus now, Dorian. It's worth four. Do you take a square away? <laughs> Top right. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Woman's rights. No. But you said it very seriously. Mm. No. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Mr. Chips. Where is Mr. Chips? Jen and Leanne. Under the deck. Under the deck? Mm. No. Sort of similar. Below, below deck. Below, below deck, deck is deck. right. <laughs> Danny, I want you to guess one of these catchphrases and get it right, because the audience will be really on your side and we'll talk about your bottle some more. <laughs> okay, just take a word, screw that me asking. Just do it, I don't care, alright. <laughs> Five seconds, what is it? Um, swirling water. You're back to your bottles again, aren't you? You like your bottles? No, it's 30 all now. It's very exciting. <laughs> and take the mickey. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Danny! That's Dynamo. Yes. <laughs> Because, Danny, you said Donimo, but you meant Domino, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, thank God oh, for a minute, then. <laughs> if he'd said no, we'd have had to stop the whole show and everything. All right, 45, you... <laughs> OK, take a square away, Danny. <laughs> right, OK, but five seconds, what is it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> you ran out of time. Here's another one. Jen and Leanne didn't wait for the bell. Slapped hands. That's me talking like a game show host, Steve, Dora and Danny. Te what is it? It's... Tug of war. It is tug of war. Well done. <laughs> Doreen, don't let him put his hand on that knob thing. Right? <laughs> Here is the bonus. Take away a square. <laughs> the middle, uh, middle top. Five seconds. What is it? Tie worker. No, you need to get rid of that middle square. The audience know, don't you? Yeah. Keep your gob shut. <laughs> Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Jan and Leanne. Square meal. He's right. <laughs> it's 45-65. If you get this bonus, you'll go back into the lead. It's worth 20, OK? 45-60. So take away the middle square from me, Jan. Get that middle square and you'll get it. Just ignoring me, aren't you? Okay, that's gone. Five seconds, what is it? White collar worker. It is white collar worker! <laughs> Hi, you got in the lead again. Got some. That was good because it was a real sort of horse race, wasn't it? With it all changing, <laughs> it was real nail biting. <laughs> it's a bloke asleep there, I can't believe this. 
OK, now we play solo shoot. First of all, Leanne, you're taking on Danny, all right? But first of all, you've got to find out how much each of the catchphrases is worth. So hit the number chase button for me again. Get a nice and high score. 75. That'll make it more exciting. Ready for this, Danny? Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> You didn't wait for the bell, Did silly girl. So. Danny, what is it? Metal saw. No. <laughs> I just checked. <laughs> no, it was chainsaw. Jaron and Doreen, take over, please. That's it, going to get this one now. Are you ready? Here's your catchphrase. <laughs> Jan! Two-step. Not two-step. Doreen? Step-by-step. Step-by-step's right. Back in the lead now, Doreen, from him, coming from behind again. You get the go at the bonus, it's on your own, it's a new bonus worth 100. Take away a square for me. Bottom middle, remove it, please. Five seconds, what is it? The barber shop. Nah, not quite, sort of. Let's look at the score, shall we? John Lennon got 65, but in the lead with 135, it's Doreen and Danny. Yeah! Good to get back to you soon for some more family catchphrase. Don't go away. <laughs> In the commercial break, there were some sparks flying between Leanne and Danny. I think something's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Leanne and Danny, it's your solo shoot. Are you ready? Here it comes, your solo catchphrase. Wait for the bell. What has Mr Chips done? What is he? There's an object. Leanne. Painting the train. <laughs> Spotted. No. Danny. Polka dot train artist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Um, it might have been train spotter, but I'm not sure. <laughs> OK, Jan and Doreen, take over, please. Here comes your catchphrase. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> when that train came on then at the start, did you ever did you think like deja vu? Did you think? <laughs> did you think, oh no, it's train spotter again. I can't put up with this. <laughs> All right, so when you get another go now at this uh, bonus, it's worth 90. Take a square away. <laughs> Middle left. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Behind the barber's shop. No, but you're very good at this game, aren't you? <laughs> OK, Jan. Uh, sorry, I mean Leanne and Danny. Here's your catchphrase. <laughs> Danny got there first. Cutting corners. Good man, that's right. <laughs> Danny, you've always been my favourite contestant. <laughs> Now, the audience, I st the audience are behind you now, good man. This is it. You're going to get the bonus now. It's worth 80, OK? Take away that middle square, young man. <laughs> that could do it. Five seconds. What do you think it is? Barber of Seville. No, you're in the right area, though. OK, Jan, Doreen, Jan, you've got to catch up here now, cos they're running away with it. Mm. Here's a catchphrase. Doreen. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> no. Interesting <laughs> guess, though. Jan, if it's not cool as a cucumber, what is it? It's a gherkin. It's a gherkin. <laughs> <laughs> cool as a gherkin. <laughs> no, it was in a pickle. <laughs> oh, you see, it's obvious when you explain it. All right, Leanne and Danny, take over, please. Very high-scoring game, isn't it? <laughs> Here's another catchphrase. <laughs> Wait for the bell. First. Toad in the hole. It is Toad in the hole. <laughs> 360 plays 65. You knew it, didn't you, Lauren? You knew it, but he just got there first. The bonus is worth 70, Danny. Can you get this bonus? Get that middle square, mate. <laughs> this could help, though. 
Bottom left, five seconds, what is it? Four barber shops. <laughs> You're in the right area. I don't know what more to say, really. Jan, I want you to get this now. Come on, don't let me down. Jan and Dorian, here comes your catchphrase. Charging. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jan on her way back. Okay, Jan. The bonus is worth sixty. Do you know what it is? You got a rough idea? Mm. Well, you should think about what he said last time. Take away a square. <laughs> Top middle. This could help. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Um. Jumping barbers. No. Jumping barbers. <laughs> <laughs> Good catchphrase. Leanne and Danny, here's yours. <laughs> Danny got there first again. Hanging basket. It is. <laughs> Have you noticed? He's, he's getting a bit nonchalant now, isn't he? <laughs> it's like, yeah, hanging basket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the bonus is worth 50 now, young man. Take away a square for me. Bottom right. Think what you said last time and get it right this time. What is it? Four houses of barbers. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. OK, Jan and Dorian, here's yours. <laughs> Dorian got there first again. Raised eyebrows. Yes. You're walking away, right Doreen. The bonus is worth 40. Now, what, come on, put us out of our misery. The audience know what it is, I know what it is, the viewers know, the cat knows what it is. Take away a square. <laughs> Middle one, it's gone. Five seconds, what is it? Barbershop quartet. Of course it is. <laughs> Doreen and Danny, you're sort of taking a commanding lead here, haven't you now, really? <laughs> but now it gets fast and furious. We take away the bell and you can buzz in whenever you feel like it. But first of all, you got to tell us how much each catchphrase is worth. So, Dora and Danny, hit the number chase button and get it nice and high so it's exciting in the last bit. 125, so everything can change very quickly, Jan Leanne, all right? Here you go. There's no bell. Buzz in if you feel like it. Here's your first Fast and Furious catchphrase. <laughs> Doreen. Melting pot. Melting pot's not right. What was it and what has it become? Jan. Dust bowl. Dust bowl is right. 265, place 550. The bonus is worth 200. We'll put you straight back in the game. Take away a square on the bonus. <laughs> Bottom right. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Um, table setting. Yeah, it's a bit early to say, isn't it? Yeah. But good guess. Here's a catchphrase. Going from worst to bad. No. Bad. You've got to press the button. You've got to press the button. Yes, Jan. Sorry. Going from bad to worst. He's right. <laughs> Doreen, how bad a moment was that? Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus is worth 185. Now take away a square, Jan and Leanne. <laughs> Top right. Move it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Balancing house. No, not balancing house, but it's quite close. It's 390 plays 550, anyone's game. Here's the next catchphrase. <laughs> Jan and Leanne. Getting nowhere fast. He's right. <laughs> you are now just 35 behind. The bonus is worth 170 to take away a square. We'll put you straight in the lead. <laughs> Bottom middle, remove it. Five seconds, what is it? <laughs> House balance? Mm. No, you were closer last time. Here's another catchphrase. <laughs> Doreen! Slow boat to China. Put you back in the lead easily again. Yes, yeah, 675, place 515. The bonus is worth 155. If you can take it from this next square that you remove. Top left. Five seconds. What is it? Housing balance? No. It's very good. Yes, and that is the end. I mean, time's up. We're going to reveal to you now the catchphrase bit by bit. It's worth 140. You can buzz in whenever you want. Reveal the catchphrase now, please. Doreen. 
house balance. No. Jan and Leanne? One last guess? Balance the house budget? No, it was Lighthouse. Oh. So we're going to go with 140. We're going to show you one more catchphrase again. You can buzz in as soon as you want. <laughs> Jan and Leanne. Stock market. He's absolutely right. But I'm afraid it was not quite enough to win it. 655. Dorian Dunning win it with 675. Well done. That was very close. Well played. The second one, you get our family catchphrase polo shirts, which are fun. You get one each. You haven't got to share it. You also get a book of phrases and fables published by Helicon. Dorian and Danny, come and play Super Catchphrase. Well done. Well done. Hello. You're tall, aren't you? Yeah, you've got 25 squares from A to Y behind each of those is a catchphrase that you've got to solve. If you can get across the board as you're being shown now, then you win this. The CD32 is an awesome ultimate games console which comes complete with brilliant games like Ocean Sleepwalker and Millennium's Robocard. This amazing machine also plays audio CDs and CD movies. Plus, enjoy the freedom of the skies. Free float where the gentle breezes take you with an uplifting thrill of a lifetime in a hot air balloon ride from Balloon World. Pretty good, huh? Ooh. But, you know, you strike me as an M-square pair. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. Behind the M-square is the mystery prize. If you can go across the borders you're being shown now, you win the M-square prize, which is... <laughs> so, <laughs> worth having, I think you'll agree. You've got 60 seconds to do this. If you get stuck, say pass, and we'll return to it. OK, are you ready? Good luck to you both. Your time starts now. M. Um, pulling up, up pull, driving up. You're not sure, say pass. Walking up. up. No, pass, pass. A. Circle numbers, uh, news circle. 10 o'clock news. Other way around, it's similar. News, ten, news, news at 10. 10. Yes. F. Um, skiing bin. <laughs> bin Torpedo. launch. What is it? Rocket. Rocket no. bin. Pass. Yeah, pass. Go a different B. way. Pelican crossing. Yes. C. <laughs> Laughing mouth, mouth, mouth. Down in the mouth. Yes. D. Um, bubble gum, chewing gum, uh... Gumming the work up. Now, what's that thing? What's that thing the arrow's pointing shield to? Shield gum. Uh, gum shield. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> gum shield. You got it right here. It was gum shield, but it was too late. Uh, yeah. Let's look at what you missed, shall we? Here's the M square. This is the one that took you all the time. And this was pull up to the curb. Oh. See, pull up to the curb. Yeah. And uh, F was the one that you got lost on. You said bin, what did you say? Bin, bin on bin flame? Bin launcher. Bin launcher. No, it was jet ski. Oh, gotcha. Listen, you get a consolation prize, you get this. You'll take the whole family for a fabulous day out to Thorpe Park. Whether you prefer rides like Logger's Leap or Flying Fish, there's entertainment for everyone here, young and old. That's all right. Thank you. And uh, we have, in fact, uh, you got gumshield just after the buzzer. We've got a special prize for you to add to your collection. It's a, a milk bottle and we're <laughs> to have that with our love. Thanks for playing the game. Thank you. We'll see you soon with some more family catch Bye-bye.